Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to go over the shell method. Uh, the equation for the shell method is the integral of 2 pi r shell h shell dx or dy. You use shell method when the strip is parallel to the rotating axis. And here are the steps for the shell method. You find the boundaries. If the boundaries are given, skip that step. First, you find r shell. Then you find h shell. You set up the integral. And then you solve the integral. Before I move forward, it's really important to explain what R shell is and what H shell is. So let me start off with R shell. R shell is literally the distance between the rotating axis and the strip. Let me explain what that means with an example. Um, here's just a regular example of like just a regular question. So A is 5 and B is 20. If I asked you What's the difference? I mean, what's the distance between A and B? Obviously, you'd say 15. And how did you get that? You subtracted B minus A, you did 20 minus 5, then you got 15. But what if I put A all the way over here to 40, right? What if I put A over here to 40 and I said, okay, now what's our shell? What's the distance between these two points? you would do a minus b this time around. You wouldn't do b minus a like before. You do a minus b. You do 40 minus 20, which is 20. That's the distance between these two. Either way, when the point was on, when a was on the left side of b, you did b minus a. When a was on the right side of b, you did a minus b. See how it switched up? Let's try to do a example when it's on the y-axis or when it's when it's this way. And I said, let's say I said find the distance between these two points and that would be our shell. You obviously would say, okay, the distance between these two points is 20 minus 5, which is 15, so our shell is 15. Right? In order to do that, you did b minus a. b minus a, 20 minus 5 is 15. What if I put this a all the way up here to 40? Like down here, I did, if I put A up here, you no longer would do B minus A, now you would do A minus B to find the distance between these two. You'd do 40 minus 20. A minus B, is, which is 40 minus 20, so here R shell is 20. Here, when A was below B, you did B minus A, but here, when A is above B, you did A minus B. So basically, this is how you find our shell. Here's a little chart to help you find our shell. This is for when the strip is horizontal. This is for when the strip is vertical. When the strip is horizontal, if the strip itself is above the rotating axis, use yi minus the rotating axis to find our shell. And our shell is the distance between the rotating axis and the strip. If the strip is below the rotating axis, use the equation rotating axis minus yi. For when the strip is vertical, if the strip is on the left side of the rotating axis, use rotating axis minus xi, and if the strip is on the right side of the rotating axis, use xi minus rotating axis. Um, it would be pretty good to like write this down, this is important. So let me go through like some examples. This is for when the strip is vertical. So here the strip is vertical. And the strip, as you can see, is on the left side of the rotating axis. Here's the rotating axis, x equals y, that's why I did this swirly thing. It's on the left side. To find our shell, the distance between these two, we're going to do the rotating axis minus xi. xi is the x component of the strip. So we're going to do 5 minus xi to find the distance between these two. So since it's on the left side of the rotating axis, our shell is rotating axis minus xi and then our shell is 5 minus xi this is what our shell is in this situation here this is the rotating axis and the strip is on the right side of the rotating axis so here in order to find our shell to find the distance between these two we would use the equation xi minus the rotating axis xi let me draw xi xi is just the uh x component of the strip xi 
minus the rotating axis. Here, cause see, here's the rotating axis and then the strip is on the right side of it. It's on the right side. This is the axis on the right side. The strip's on the right side of the rotating axis. So our shell is xi minus rotating axis. That's the equation we use. So here's xi. The rotating axis is x equals negative seven. So then, and then xi is here. So then it would be xi minus the rotating axis. So it would be xi minus negative seven. xi minus negative seven. Let's do another example, but except for when the strip is horizontal. So if the strip, since this strip is horizontal, the strip, here's the rotating axis. The rotating axis is y equals six. The strip is below this rotating axis. It's below it. So to find our shell, we're gonna do the rotating axis minus yi. Six is the rotating axis. And then yi is the y component of the strip. So we're gonna do six minus yi. That's this distance. So that would be the equation for this situation and our shell is six minus yi. Here, the rotating axis is y equals negative eight. The strip is above the rotating axis. See the, the rotating axis down here and the strip is all the way above it. So yi is the y component of the strip. So our shell is gonna be yi minus the rotating axis yi minus the rotating axis that's the distance between these two that's what our shell would be let me write our shell here so our shell would be yi minus negative eight yi minus negative eight since the rotating axis is negative eight so it's our shell here is yi minus negative eight now that we learned about R shell, let's learn about H shell. H shell is basically the length of the strip. Now, if you remember from area, H shell when the strip is vertical is um, it's y, the length of the strip is y top minus y bottom when the strip is vertical, and then it's x right minus x left when the strip is horizontal. That's how long the strip is. If you guys probably you guys will probably remember that from um, finding the areas. So let me like show you guys some examples here. Look at this graph. This equation here is y top, it touches the top of the strip. This is y bottom, it touches the bottom of the strip. H shell is just the length of this strip. That's why I put an arrow that H shell is the length of this strip. So here, the strip is vertical, so H shell is y top minus y bottom. Here, the strip is horizontal. This is the length of the strip, which is H shell. H shell here, here it's uh, x right minus x left. You remember that from area. H shell here, when the strip is horizontal, is x right minus x left. So let's do a practice problem. It says find the volume of the solid obtained by the region enclosed by y equals x squared plus 1 and y equals 6x minus 4 about the x-axis. That's supposed to say solid obtained by rotating. Sorry, there's supposed to be a rotating in there. Let me write that. By rotating that says rotating the region in blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so basically we're finding the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region enclosed by y equals x squared plus 1 and y equals 6x six, six minus 4 about the y axis that's parallel which is why we're using shell so step one is the boundaries you said these two equal to each other and then you solve for x pretty much algebra stuff um, when you put x squared plus 1 equal to 6x minus 4 when you solve for x you're gonna get 1 and 5 as the boundaries step 2 our shell so as you can see the sh this is the rotating axis and the strip is on the right side of the rotating axis which means that we're gonna use the equation xi minus rotating axis that's what our shell is. So this is xi, that's the x component of the strip, and then this is the x-axis. So xi minus the rotating axis, the rotating axis is x equals zero, because x equals zero is the y-axis. xi minus the rotating axis is xi minus zero, so our shell is just xi. Step three, let's find h shell. The strip is vertical, so we're just going to do y top minus y bottom, which is easy because we learned how to do area and stuff. Like, we learned that in area. Y top, what touches the top of the strip is y equals 6x minus 4. What touches the bottom of the strip is y equals x squared plus 1. So, h shell is 6x minus 4 minus x squared plus 1, top, y top minus y bottom. And then if you subtract this, you get this. 
negative x squared plus 6x plus 5. So now let's do step 4. Let's set up the integral. Um, here's the equation for shell. Uh, the integral of 2 pi r shell h shell dx. Let's take all the information we gathered from the um, all the other steps we did. The boundaries are 1 and 5. R shell is xi. When, you're, when you start integrating, you can drop the x from xi. When you start integrating, you can drop. So when you put R shell into the integrating e um, formula equation thing, just drop the i. So R shell is x. We already, you know, we established that. It's xi, but we dropped the i because we're integrating now. So anyway, h shell is 6x minus 4 minus x squared plus 1, y top minus y bottom. When you subtract these two, you get negative x squared plus 6x minus 5. So this is how we would set up the integral. The integral is from, it's from 1 to 5 of 2 pi x times negative x squared plus 6x minus 5 dx. Remember, don't forget the dx. This is 2 pi, this is r shell, this is h shell dx. That's what the equation is. So we've set up our integral. If the question says to just set up the integral and do not evaluate it, you can stop here. But it says if it does say to evaluate the integral, we can go on to the next step, which is step five. All right, so let's go ahead and do step five. Let's solve the integral. This is on um, the integral. This is our shell. This is h shell. And uh, it's from the integral from one to five, two pi x times negative x squared plus 6x minus 5 dx. Don't forget dx. So um, to make this easier to integrate, I took the constant out. I moved the constant out, 2 pi. Then I multiplied x times this equation, negative x squared plus 6x minus 5. And then when you like do that, what you get is negative x cubed plus 6x squared minus 5x dx. And then the answer to this integral is 2 pi negative x to the 4th over 4 plus 6x cubed over 3 minus 5x squared over 2 at 5 and 1. And when you evaluate this, you're going to get 64 pi. That's the answer. Let's do one more shell example. It says find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region enclosed by the curves x equals 4y, which is this and x equals y2 minus 5, which is this. Ignore that, I kind of messed up right there, sorry. But, you know, like we learned from the area thing, since it's x equals something about y and x equals something about y, obviously we'd be using the horizontal strip, which, and then if we're rotating about the, um, oh, I forgot to put that in the equation. Rotated about, let me put that in the question. Rotated about, Oh, I'm running out of space. Y equals 6. I don't know if you guys can see that. Rotated about Y equals 6. This is what it's rotated about. So, we're finding the volume of this when it's rotated about Y equals 6. Um, we're using a horizontal strip because it's X equals something. So, we're working in terms of DY. Um, so, um, step 1, let's do some boundaries. Um, so, for Y... Uh, equal 4y equals y squared minus 5. I put the two equations together and then I solved for y. Um, I solved for y and I got y equals negative 1 and y equals 5. Those are the boundaries. Alright, so let's go to step 2. Let's find our shell. Like I said before, our shell is the distance between the rotating axis and the strip. The y component for the the strip is yi. That's why I put that there. And the strip is below the rotating axis. See how this is the rotating axis and the strip is below it? So because of that, and because this is horizontal, we're going to be using this equation. R shell equals the rotating axis minus yi. R shell is the rotating axis minus yi. The rotating axis is 6, and this is yi right here, the y component of the strip. So R shell is rotating axis minus yi which is 6 minus yi, because the rotating axis is y equals 6. This is our shell. Alright, so step 3, we'll, let's find h shell, which is pretty easy. It's just x right minus x left, since this is horizontal. Um, you guys already know that from finding the area and stuff. So since the strip is horizontal, we're going to be using the equation x right minus x left to find h shell. x right is x equals 4y. 4y, x equals 4y, that's what touches the strip on the right side. Um, 
what touches the strip on the left side is this one, which is x equals y squared minus 5. So it's x right minus x left, which would be 4y, the right, minus y squared minus 5, the left. Um, and then, so this is h shell, 4y minus y squared minus 5. And then, you know, just to simplify that, when you subtract it, it's 4y minus y squared plus 5, because you know minus and minus is plus. And then this is just minus. So h shell is 4y minus y squared plus 5. All right, so let's go to step four. We can set up the integral now. This is the equation for a shell method. The integral of 2 pi r shell h shell dy, because we're working in terms of y for this equation. You know, the strip was horizontal, so we we're working in terms of y. The boundaries we already got from step one are negative 1 and 5. r shell is 6 minus yi, but when we start integrating, we drop the i. So r shell is 6 minus y. h shell is 4y minus y squared plus 5. That's what you got when you subtracted x right minus x left. That's what you get. So the whole thing is the integral from negative 1 to 5 of 2 pi 6 minus y times 4y minus y squared plus 5 dy. Now if the equa if the question that you get says to just set up the integral and that you don't have to evaluate it, you can stop right here. But if it says to set up the integral and that you have to evaluate it, then we can go on to the next step, which is step 5. Alright, so here's step 5. I basically just solved the integral. Um, the integral, like I said before, is the integral from negative 1 to 5 of 2 pi 6 minus y times 4y minus y squared plus 5 dy. So then um, what I did was I took out the constant and then I foiled this. Like I multiplied these two by each other to make it easier to integrate. When you foil this and you multiply it, when you multiply 6 minus y times 4y minus y squared plus 5, you get this. y cubed minus 10y squared plus 19y plus 30. So I decided to do this to make it this format to make it easier to integrate. So now I'm going to integrate this. And then you get 2 pi um, times y to the 4 over 4 minus 10y cubed over 3 plus 19y squared over 2 plus 30y, 30y at uh, 5 and negative 1. And then when you evaluate this, you get 288 pi.